All right, let's talk about OCaml, Objective Camel. OCaml. So OCaml is a member of the ML family of languages. This here is an example of a function written in OCaml. And so this function defines map. So this is the function that's defined. And here f and list are the parameters. So what does map do? So map of f of some list one, two, three will do this. It will go f of one, f of two, f of three. So it's applying the function to every element of the list. So that's what the function is doing. So in this example here, map is being defined with this let rec. So this is how you define recursive functions. So what's a recursive function? A recursive function calls itself. So let's look at the definition here. So map of f on a list, you match the list, and if the list is the empty list here, then the return value is the empty list. So this is the base case here. If the list has a head and a tail, then the return value is applying the function to the head and recursively calling map on the tail. So this is the recursive part. So here's a recursive definition of map. What's this down here? So this down here is not part of the program. This is part of what the compiler outputs when it compiles this program. This is the type of map that the compiler calculates for it. And so the, the type system of OCaml is, is very expressive, has a lot of features. And so this type of map has a bunch of arrows. So how, how, how do types work? Types have an input and an output. So a function like plus will be int, int, int. And that means plus takes two integers and returns an int. That's a way of thinking about it. And so here, this map is kind of a confusing type. So the first argument is here, the second argument is here, and this is the return. So that's the return, that's the list here, so LST, and this A to B, that's our F. So the list has a type, tick A list, so a list of some type of elements. So this is actually a generic type and the return value is a list of B-type elements. The function is a function that takes A's to B's. So if you have a list of integers and your function takes integers to floating point numbers, then the return list will be a list of floating point numbers. So that's an example of how the, the type system of OCaml works. So this is all pretty cool stuff. Let's look at another example. Here's an example of a little interpreter. So this is a calculation interpreter. So it's a little calculator language that has plus and times, it has ifs, and it has uh, integers and variables. So how does it work? So here we have the let rec again. So this is a recursive definition. Here's our function we're defining. So we're defining eval. What are the inputs? a list of variables and their assignments, and um, an expression to actually evaluate. So if we look down here at the, at the type, we can see what's going on a little bit. Here is the list of assignments to the variables. So th these are actually pairs. So the star is a pair type, where you have a string and a value, and then there's a list of these. Then the second argument here is the expression, which has its own type own type. So this is the vars. And this value is our return. Return type. So what does this do? So given 
an assignment of, of variables and an expression, it returns what the expression evaluates to. And how does it do that? It looks at the expression and matches it. If it finds that the expression was an addition here, then it will evaluate this left side of the addition and add it to the evaluation of the right side, the E2 over here. So you, you, we don't need to understand all the details here, but you can see the expression has multiple different cases that it can match, and that will change what the interpreter does. So we don't need to understand this, but this is kind of cool because in this very small compact program, we're actually defining a relatively complete interpreter for this tiny little language. So OCaml is very well suited for doing in little interpreters like this. Cool, so what have we seen? Let's, let's look at this. So OCaml has recursive functions, is a natural part of, of defining functions in OCaml. It has types, it has a very complicated expressive type system, but you don't actually need to put the types in your program. It, they, they get inferred automatically by the compiler.